Constitution. So what is the future of that executive order, and does the Constitution enter into any of this? Here to weigh in, Congressman Mike Kelly of Pennsylvania. Congressman, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Tucker. Great to be with so you. So what exactly should... There are all kinds of stories about this this morning, but it's very hard to tell what this adds up to. Those of us watching at home wondering about the president's executive amnesty, if I'm against it, for example, what does this mean to me? Yeah, well, well I think... What we did in the House was present a piece that really helps to govern America, yep. move it forward. We have to get into the next session when we have a majority in the Senate that we can actually work with on a more open basis. So I think that while there's a great concern with what the president does, and I don't have any argument with that, he does, does have a great overreach right now. When we get into the next session, we have a much different group to work with. Right. By the middle of February, we'll be able to address things. Because as you know, Homeland Security is only, only funded to the middle of February. This is not a done deal. This is not over. This right. is not Republicans walking away from a very critical issue. However, we know where we are positioned right now. We're still the minority. We won't be that way after the first of the year. Right. Now, January 6th starts an altogether new day for America. We're going to have to govern, though. And Speaker Boehner has been very clear about this. These are not Republican issues. These are not Democrat issues. These are American issues. And if we're going to govern, we're going to have to govern as Americans first. And we're going to do what's right for the American people. So the president, in effect, gave an amnesty to all these illegal immigrants. Do you think there is something that Republicans can do about it in two months from now? Can they stop this in February? Do you know, there, we have certain options, but we have to follow. We want to follow the rule of law. That's just who we are as a people. Right. And I think that's who we are as a, as a party. I think the message right now is to do things that are thoughtful, do things again that make sense in the long run. You can do short-term things that create a lot, of, uh, a, lot, a lot of surprise and a lot of, oh, yeah, that's the way we want to be. But if we haven't fixed it, that's the problem. So there's a lot of options. We'll go through them very strategically. After the first of the year, we'll be able to lay out a plan for America that makes sense, gets our economy up and rising again, gets our people to have faith in this form of government that we have, and knows right. that they're going to govern in Washington right now. They're not going to be bumping heads all the time. They're not going to be as divisive as it's been. So you think there is, in fact, a legal way Absolutely. to undo the president's executive order? Absolutely. I think there's several different margins to it. There's a lot of lawsuits taking place. As you know, some of the states right. have a lawsuit. They have better standing, I think, than the federal government does. We can join in with them. We can do a lot of different things right now, or not right now, but in the, when we have the Senate, that right. we can do right now. So I think getting through this time period, getting beyond this period where people start to think, of it, why are they going to shut down the government again. Now, keep in mind, whenever that happened before and the government shut down, we were terrible. We were bomb throwers. We were people that were hurting people. And our friends on the other side said, we're just being defensive on this one. And I think their remarks lately have been very offensive to the country and to our, our form of government. <laughs> the New York Times has a front page story this morning congratulating Elizabeth Warren for trying to shut down the government. <laughs> Mike well. Kelly, Congressman, thanks for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas Hanukkah. to you.